Hey, I got it. <laughs> yeah, shoot a little. <laughs> Shit, where'd he go? <laughs> Leave me alone, will you? <laughs> Shit, the bum's over here. What happened now? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that now. Which one do I want? Maybe look at the passive powers. Let's see. I think I'll go for a quiet kill for now. What's this one? Silent kill. Oh, I got one point left. There we go. So who am I talking to? What do you want? No. Um. Maybe this way. Yeah. Welcome back, Eric. Tell me more about vampires. What would you like to know? Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, it's been about ten years since I was a normal human. I own this club, and I look after the young vampires, such as yourself. But I don't really want to talk about myself right now. Maybe some other time. Can you tell me something about the vampires in the sanctuary? Yes, I could tell you a little something, but that would be kind of inappropriate, wouldn't it? It's best if you speak with them yourself. Tom, you've already met. He is my head of security. The Kruger twins also work here in the club. April is behind the bar. I assume you remember her. June is our DJ. If you want to know more about them, I suggest you speak with them directly. How come nobody knows that vampires really exist? Because we're very careful not to attract attention. Do you think people out there would be happy if they knew that we're living amongst them? We can't be satisfied by synthetic or animal blood. Believe me, I've tried it. No, we need real blood, and we need it from a living person. We are powerful, Eric. 
You are powerful, but we are not invulnerable. Bullets can harm and even kill us. However, there are just a few of us, but we have plenty of conflict within our society. So we use our power and influence to keep people in the dark. There are vampires out there who have built economic empires and control the media. They ensure that our existence remains secret. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. I'm ready. Excellent. Good luck. How do you rate your chances? Uh, let's go with easy. This will be a cakewalk. Whatever you want. I'll give you a radio so we can stay in touch. And I'm pretty good with computers. Maybe I can help you out a little. Good luck, Eric. Hope that wasn't like... I made my way to the museum and thought about what Rose had said. Vampire. The idea was absurd, incredible, but the evidence was overwhelming and irrefutable. I was hoping that someone would come and tell me it was all just one big joke, but no one came. For now, I would have to accept it and focus on my goal. The Harding Museum rose before me like a quiet rock, impervious to the approaching storm. At least that's what I thought. Anyways, I hope when I picked easy, it didn't actually do the opposite and make it harder, or the hardest. That would be annoying, wouldn't it? I think so. Knowing my luck, that's what happened. Apparently, I was not the only visitor to the museum tonight. Someone else got here before me. Someone with a twitchy trigger finger. Rose, can you hear me? Yes, what is it? Have you already found Blooming? No. There are a few other people wandering around here, and they definitely have not booked the night tour. People with automatic weapons. Automatic weapons? Be careful, Eric. The best way for you to get into the building is through the annex. There's a connection to the foyer on the top floor. Okay, I'll get back to you later. Okay, so... Do I have to sneak around? Sometimes enemies are distracted and largely unaware of their surroundings. Huh. Something here, it's true. Oh, that's think that one's turned. My way. Email. Hello, Mr. Redding. I just wanted to tell you that you ha no longer have to worry about our problem. Regarding the overly curious subjects, my babies have already taken care of that for us so we can sleep easy. Please come visit me later in my study. I have a few things to discuss with you regarding new exhibits for our body world exhibition acquisition is unfortunately proceeding far too slowly i know that 
We have already left your safety zone and kicked up some dust, but it is very important that this exhibition be great. I'm doing my personal best to make this show something very special. Maybe we can expand acquisition to other areas of the city. I was thinking of the hole where it shouldn't bother anyone if you were to get me some exhibits, right? Get me new exhibits, right? But as I said, come to my workshop later and bring something for my baby. So it sounds like that guy's maybe creating things he shouldn't be. Sounds more like a laboratory, maybe, if, if anything. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, the line's also, I guess, showing me how to get to the next point. Pay attention to things lying on the ground, stepping on them would cause noise even when you are creeping. Some enemies don't move at all but instead just stand there looking in one direction. Kill them in, or advance to the next position. Another enemy is close enough to hear you if you feed on this one. Some enemies move just a bit to change their field of view. Keep an eye on them and try to learn their timing. Advance to the next position or kill this enemy. I think the others are far enough away where they won't hear or see, hear or see anything. And I'll look at that thing in a minute. The phone looking thing. I thought it was a phone thing that would give me extra experience, but I guess not. The museum entrance was blocked. I wouldn't be getting into the building that way. I'd have to take the connecting tunnel from the annex, like Rose said. All clear so far. Yeah, no signs of disturbance. Many enemies have synchronized timings. Keep an eye on them and try to learn their routes and timings.
but that one is still facing this way. Oh, never mind. He's moved away. is a pretty much a waiting game at the moment. If you watched my retro game unboxing for December, you would have seen that this is one of the games I received that day or in that box I got this one the one called Dark Sider Dark Siders 2 and then Murdered Soul Suspects and the last one was some kind I forgot the name of it Planet something rather but I decided to donate that one though I haven't done it yet but I'm not really into sci-fi type of games So that one guy is way over there on his own and I don't think he's moved. I guess these two are the ones to watch. Because as that one guy comes closer to me, the other one walks away the other way so I can get that guy, drag him over to where I am now, and then move over to that position in hope for the best okay so he's out of sight which means it is time to strike this guy. something glowing purple over there or bright hot pink I mean he's wondering like where did he go that would be pretty funny it's not moving though If I had left him there, then this guy would see and come over. Maybe I'll drag him out next time he leaves. Just a tiny bit and see what that does. Guy, you're coming with me. Ah. 
too late. Oh, the other guy's behind the staircase. So